we lovely sis Nisha? So I'm doing it. I'm doing this tag that's been going around for ages, um, addressing your assumptions about me. Um, and I don't mind, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Fancy Free in Ireland says, I assume you have quite a temper. You don't let people push you around. Yes. I do have a temper. Um, I'm a bit calmer now since I've been on my HRTs. I'm sorry, my dog is having a drink. Can you hear him? Uh, I think hormones can make you a bit snappy as well. Cindy Pal, Cindy underscore Pal says, I assume you are very often misunderstood. I assume you are ready for a real adventure in your life. I assume you are a lot like me. Uh, very often misunderstood. Yes, I do. Especially, I think sometimes people think that I am rude. Um, I'm just very down to earth and I speak my mind and what you see is what you get. I don't beat around the bush, if you know what I mean. I try to sometimes. Um, but yeah, I am very direct, but it's never meant to be upsetting or hurting anyone. I'm ready for a real adventure in your life. No, not really. I'm quite content and, and happy with my life. So, yeah. Randy Duncan. Uh, you are a happy, friendly person. I bet you make friends everywhere you go. Please don't listen to people like this. Oh, she tagged someone. Oh, obviously there is some interesting comment, but I'll probably get to that. Um, yes, I am very... Um, generally happy outside happy person and friendly and I do make friends very easy I'm just the sort of person that will talk to anyone uh, my husband always says you know if we have to go to like his um, work function or something where we don't know many people he says oh I love taking you because you will just talk to anybody <laughs> Um, Tinka underscore wonders says, have you seriously considered quitting YouTube? Um, well, that's not really an assumption, just a question by answer. Yes, few times I have, especially at the beginning when you are not used to getting the nasty comments and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and also sometimes when I feel low, um, and then you have to deal with some unpleasantness, then I considered it, but not, not really. I enjoy it, I love it, and this is like my job now. I spend so much time doing it, and of course I get paid as well for doing it, so through AdSense. So now I, I right now I don't have any plans to quit it. Um, Kirst C1970. Um, I like watching your videos with the same age. Uh, I assume you have the money to buy all these high-end products and wigs as they are normally really expensive. Wish I could afford it all. Okay, um, first of all, I hardly buy any wigs. I have bought a few myself, but as you know, the companies send them to me for reviews. I don't get paid for the reviews at all. I just get the wig, wig sent for nothing to do a review on. So most of my wigs I don't pay for. And yes, they are very expensive, but I have bought a few. I'm actually planning on buying a couple of my favorites um, because obviously companies are not going to be sending me my favorite wig over and over again just because I want to wear it. Um, and when it comes to a high-end expensive product, a lot of the money that I spent on my makeup are the money that I make from YouTube. So basically, I couldn't live on the money that I earn from YouTube. And remember, I don't really do many sponsored videos. And I've been here for six years on YouTube and maybe I've done six sponsored videos. Um, and the money that I earn from AdSense, believe me, <laughs> I couldn't live on that. So I usually spend the money that I make on YouTube to buy more products, to give you more content. Um, Penny Lynn 19 said, I assume you always get what you want. No, not really. <laughs> I want so many things and I don't always get what I want. 
Mama Wears Wig says, I assume you are a kind, world-mannered person just trying to live your best life like the rest of us. Yes, that's true. Um, I would like to see I am well-mannered, but I'm definitely a kind person. Um, and yeah, just trying to live my best life. Zan underscore Zan098 said, on some of your videos, you appear a little frustrated or to be feeling slightly off. The camera never lies and it's hard to fall. So my assumption is that you find making multiple videos to be a bit of a yawn or chore. No, not really. I love making videos. Um, and I, I'm quite upset about it that because I think I've heard it sometimes in my comments, people would, would ask, oh, um, are you a bit off today? You not don't seem yourself. And I never want to come across like this. Um, I want this to be like happy, uplifting place. But unfortunately, that's the person I am. I'm very honest. So whatever I feel, whatever mood I am in, it probably is going to come across. Sometimes I might... Uh, seem a bit off because let me tell you i film here which is downstairs in my common area in my house my husband works from home and max my pop in from work for lunch when i'm in the middle of making a video when i have to stop and then you know you lose your train of thought i get annoyed about it that they've disturbed me or whatever so sometimes could be that sometimes if i'm um reviewing or doing makeup that is not going right or I'm not really happy with the product that will probably come out but no I'm I'm never um I never find making videos a yawn or I just love it oh okay so that must be the comment um very nice torso in this avatar so I don't know if it's a man or a woman but it is um the name is xz loop 8 I am so over assumption videos. They are so narcissistic and egoistical. Anyway, my assumption is that you suffer from depression. Uh, you don't have to, that doesn't have to be your assumption because I've always been open about it and I do suffer from depression. You are highly strong. Yes, I am highly strong. That is so, so true. <laughs> um, but I suppose that comes with my depression, anxiety and stuff like that. I also assume that you could buy out the whole Sephora store and it would still never be enough for you. Uh, that's not true. Uh, before I started YouTube, I had not much makeup. I've always loved makeup, but I would have just few of my favorites and that was it. But obviously being on YouTube, this being my job to show you things, review things, if I just use the same makeup over and over again, you would be bored. You wouldn't come back to watch me doing the same makeup look or showing you the same lipstick for six years. So um, that is not true that even if I had whole Sephora, it still wouldn't be enough. I've got more than enough and I uh, very often go through my makeup and what I don't use very much, I donate. Or I give it to my friends or to my mom. Uh, and, and another assumption from this person is, I assume that you are insecure and forever fretting about your hair. Yes, I'm, I am forever fretting about my hair, but I wouldn't say I'm insecure. Um, when it comes to my looks, yes, um, I hate myself without makeup. That's why I always wear makeup and I like to look nice. I am vain, um, but I am not insecure otherwise. I really like myself. I am happy with the person I am. So no, I am not insecure in that respect. Okay, um, Zeza591 says, I assume that you have the assumption, I assume that you have the assumption that if you have every high-end palette, high, oh, can you believe that? You see, that's when you probably see me in my videos being off, when I sit down, start filming, and my neighbor starts hovering her leaves. Um, <laughs> Okay, so 
I assume that you have the assumption that if you have every high-end palette, highlighter, foundation, skincare product, wigs, etc, etc, you will still never be happy. You are afraid of aging. Okay, um, believe me that my makeup and wigs is not what makes me happy in my life. Yes, they make me happy for that moment and I really enjoy it, it's my hobby, uh, but this is not what my happiness is. Is. I've got a wonderful husband, wonderful son, lovely dog, nice home. Um, I am happy with my life. So makeup is not what brings me happiness. Um, and I'm af afraid of aging. I'm not afraid of aging. Uh, I've always said I love aging mentally. Um, I would never want to be 25 again but yes um, it's not that I'm afraid of it I don't like what it does to our bodies and faces um, so it's not that I'm afraid of it I just don't like it because like I said I'm vain and I always want to look nice it makes me happy to look nice I don't do it really for anybody else believe me I can be sitting at home not going anywhere and I will always have makeup on so and you know that's fine if you're happy with the way you age and you feel that you don't need to do any procedures or use makeup or whatever just age gracefully if that's for you that's absolutely fine you know but what I'm doing is not hurting anybody I'm just doing me okay um lock I'm 44 sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrongly um okay the first assumption you are high maintenance nothing wrong with that yes i am high maintenance i am not someone um for example give give you example if i'm packing to go away somewhere i get annoyed with myself because i am so high maintenance like when i have to take my makeup i couldn't just throw a few things in and be carefree and yeah I'm going somewhere and I don't care what I look like and I don't need makeup I am high high maintenance maintenance uh, assumption number two you find life difficult sometimes I often get the impression in your videos that you are having a damn difficult day and I fed up you see that's another I hate that 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 comes across in my videos but that's just my honest nature um yeah i have off days but i feel like this is all down to my depression you know being on medication is one thing but i still get um days that i'm more happy than others like i'm really happy today because the sun is out and it's a really nice day and that really makes me happy um but yeah i suppose we all find life difficult sometimes, but it's nothing big, you know, just normal everyday stuff. Tassena underscore creates comment said, I assume you are a moderately healthy eater by your body shape. Yes, I am not obsessive about um, healthy eating, but I just naturally like things like salads and vegetables. But I can be a pig sometimes, you know, I can eat bad things too. I, I will have McDonald's now and again, even though I don't really like it. I don't know, I sometimes just really have a craving for it. Um, and once a week we always have a takeaway, Indian or Chinese. But normally my biggest downfall is eating too much bread. I just love bread. Uh, Steph underscore AO3. I assume you sometimes find it hard to balance your work and home life and what you do want and don't want to share on camera. Um, I wouldn't say I find my work home balance difficult because I work from home um, and you know to be honest I feel I have it easy because yes doing youtube is a lot of work but i love it and i enjoy it and you know if you enjoy what you do it doesn't seem such a hard work and i also do nails which i love doing um, but you know i don't have five kids and you know nine to five job 
that I have to run around. So no, I don't find it difficult to balance anything. If I did, I would be right spoiled shit <laughs> because there are people that have it much harder than me. And with, um, do I um, find it difficult with what to share and not share on camera? Yes, of course. Um, I obviously, I don't want to share everything. There are things that I want to keep to myself. And also I, you have to be careful because to be honest, it doesn't matter what you say on here or what you don't say, you always get judged or get misunderstood. So haha, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, this is from It's Just Me, Sally. I believe what I assume about you is that your hubby looks to you as the navigator of the family, not in a controlling way, but that you usually have a plan and that's the plan your family generally follows. Hmm. I don't know. We are both quite strong and quite opinionated. Um... I am the one that is probably in charge in organizing the home life, our social life, so you know, seeing friends and stuff like that. When it comes to like travel, um, buying things, especially bigger purchases for our home, I think my husband is more in charge of that. Of course we discuss it and and agree on it, but yeah, I think we are quite equal in, in that. Denise Irriton, Irriton, sorry, uh, she says, I assume that you work very hard when you are passionate about things. I also assume that it gets hard work too. Yes, you are so right. Um, I Everything I do, I do with, I put my all into it with, with feelings and if I love something, I've got slightly obsessive um character so if i enjoy something like something i give it like 100 percent and i put everything into it and yeah and because of that i put too much pressure on myself and it gets to be a hard work so yes you write about that uh falling apart after 50 said i assume you would like a larger home for christmas decorating yes i would love a larger home although i don't know why because i hate cleaning i would love a bigger house um and it's probably because of the decorating not just the christmas decorating but decorating interior decorating um in general um i would like more space but you see I feel, I mean, we've been in this house forever and houses are expensive and we rather have this more disposable income than a huge house and no money and not be able to do the things that we want, like travel or buy things that make us happy. Okay, BL1633 said, I love watching your videos, I just started a few weeks ago. Oh, thank you, welcome to my channel. Um, you say, I assume it's hard sharing so much of your life on camera, family, hair, hate, depression. However, I am grateful due to suffering some of them myself. I assume you are a quiet, quite shy but strong woman. Um, I would say that at the beginning it was quite hard because, you know, like now um, a lot of my subscribers that have been with me for ages and always comment, I feel like we are friends, like I'm talking to friends, so it's not so hard. I'm also, I'm very extrovert, so I like to share my problems, obviously not with not every problem with everybody but i feel that you know when they say problem shared is problem halved uh, that it helps to talk especially if you are depressed honestly talk to someone friend husband counselor talking really really helps um i'm quite shy by strong woman yeah i think i don't know if i'm a strong woman i can be in certain instances but I am weak in others um, I can be shy but I'm not too shy 
Okay, day two of your assumptions. Um, I think I won't do any more. I just do whatever I see today. Um, so I did yesterday what I saw yesterday on Instagram. Okay, Diana Whitbeck. I assume you enjoy the good life and you are a kind person. Yes, I do enjoy the good life, but who doesn't? Um, and yes, I would like to think I'm a kind person. Um, this is not really an assumption, but such a wonderful comment from Danielle Dodd Gagnon. She just said, I love the person I see, the woman who is passionate about makeup, wigs, clothes, Christmas decorations, the attentive, meticulous, ingenious, sophisticated woman, the one who changed the way I wear makeup and taught me tips and tricks. The one I've been following for a while without missing any of her videos and above all, the one who really cares about the needs of her subscribers. That is just so sweet. Thank you so much. You know, I've always said, because there are people that will say that I just like you to blow smoke up my ass and just give me compliments and that's not not it at all you know I have enough confidence of my own that I don't need to get it from someone else to me the most rewarding ever thing is when I hear people telling me that my videos my makeup application has helped them so much and they make up look better and and their friends notice to me this is like the best reward for what I do so thank you that was very very sweet of you uh, DNJR13 says, I assume that you are not wealthy and you and your family are very down to earth. Yeah, that's true. We are not <clears throat> rich or really wealthy. We are comfortable. Um, we like nice things and we buy them or do them if we can afford them. Um, and yes, we are very, very down to earth amazing aimless plans you seem wealthy to me love your videos well i just answered that i'm not wealthy i'm wealthy in here and i'm rich in here <laughs> noshing kalegoli why do people have such strange name no one can pronounce that <laughs> Uh, said I assume that you are forced to be reckoned with and you won't do anything you don't want to you are a very strong woman and an extremely loyal one yes I am quite opinionated I know what I want and I can be a force to be reckoned with <laughs> if you annoy me um, I can be a strong woman but not always but I am extremely loyal one. Um, if you are my friend, you are my friend for life. Unless you cross me, then I won't want to have anything to do with you again. Um, I am a Scorpio and I am a true Scorpio. I just hate dishonesty. Um, you know, I, I rather people told me what they don't like about me or what I could change than be sweet to my face and talk about me behind my back. Um, and I try to do the same. And uh, Mandy Money commented, I assume you keep all your cosmetics, beauty products stored neatly and organized. Yes, I love organizing things. I'm quite anal about it. <laughs> Um, I've got obsession with containers, boxes. I like to put things in a box, box in a box. <laughs> I even, um, if I get something delivered and it's in a nice box, I want to keep the box because it might be handy for organizational purposes. <laughs> My husband gets really annoyed with me because sometimes I've got just piles of empty boxes. Maureen Heron. I, I want, thank you Maureen for your lovely comment. I won't read it because if I start reading uh, your lovely com comments about me, people will call me narcissistic and you know, but thank you. That was very nice. 
Uh, Phoebe Wan Pervy said you keep the most perfect home. I bet it's immaculate. Mm -mm. <laughs> I am very organized, so I know where everything is. I've got place for everything um, and I don't like clutter. So in that respect, yes, everything is put away. But I am not obsessive cleaner. I hate cleaning, like I've mentioned before. And my house looks immaculate when Paul is traveling and Max is just in his bedroom, so his bedroom is a mess. But my boys are so messy and make so much mess that it's just I can't keep up. So when Paul goes away, I will clean my house and he stays like that till he comes back. So it's their fault, not mine. Danielle Carriere. Uh, says I assume that you have a lot of girlfriends if I lived in UK I'd like to be one of them I don't actually have a lot of girlfriends um, when I was much younger yes I had um, a gang of, of friends and we used to go out and do stuff together um, I was very lonely when I had Max um, I didn't know many people here really um, and then when Max went to school, I've made a lot of friends, you know, the mums from schools, and we're still friends to this day with some of them. But you know, as the kids grow up, you don't see each other that much and things fizzle out. But I have, um, I feel that at my age, you don't need lots of girlfriends. I mean, you just need to watch like the Real Housewives things. Too many women together is no good. <laughs> you just need two or three good friends I know a lot of people and I socialize with a lot of people, but like friends, friends, I have only very few. Cookie8030 says, I assume you are a secure person sharing your flaws along with your beauty. You find videos and a source of achievement, helping others and sometimes just plain hard work. You always like to look your best. Everything is true. Um, I am very secure. I actually, I am very surprised that I've started sharing my flaws um, when I started my YouTube channel because believe me, not many people in my life, even some of my friends, have ever seen me without makeup. That's how insecure I am about my looks when I don't have makeup on. But because I've started this channel you know to share my experience with with aging and you know i can't be sitting here and not showing you my bad sides you know just the good sides that actually brings me to something that i want to, to, to talk about when you look at my instagram um if i do like a close-up makeup um picture i use filters i don't use all these face tunes or whatever that is too complicated for me i just have an app that when i point it at myself it gives me already like airbrushed look one i do it because i like it i like to see myself looking like porcelain doll two it really shows off the eyeshadow much better if i just take a normal photo with my iphone uh, which by the way i hate for photos i think samsung takes such better photos than than iphone the eyeshadows don't look very good on it i actually feel like i look worse on a photo taking just normal photo selfie with my iphone that i than i do in real life you know um and i and some people will comment that they are disappointed in me that i use filters instagram is all filtered uh, and I think everybody's aware of that. Even the big makeup artists, when they post the, the makeup um, pictures, everything is, I mean, they even show videos how they do it. I mean, they, they intensify the highlighters and everything. And I see Instagram almost like an art gallery. I love looking at pretty things and I don't care if they are filtered or not. Um, and also, um, I am not trying to deceive you in any way because you know like some people Instagram is their job so um, 
so instagram represents them and their business and whatever to me instagram is just like an extension of my youtube uh, channel so i might post them make up look and say oh i've just uploaded a video and i feel you know i'm not um lying to anyone because you see me in my videos you know without makeup close up with my big pores and all my flaws so i don't understand why why that is a problem just accept it that it is filtered and it's not that deep really you know <laughs> i understand if um if I was just doing Instagram and pretended that that's how I look at my age, you know, but it's just for fun and like I said, to show off the eyeshadows a bit better and it's just not that deep and I, I don't feel like I'm a role model for, for youngsters. I'm sure not, no young girls are watching me. So, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say about the Instagram and filtering. Shirley K, 1964. I assume you don't like to get dirty. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Um, but no, I don't mind. Um, I, When Max was younger, we used to go camping uh, for a weekend with a group of friends and their kids. And I used to like that, um, you know, not caring so much. But I still put makeup on, you know, even camping. Not like for eyeshadow but I would still put foundation on and mascara um, so yeah and my tent had to be really nice and have things everywhere useless camper I am but I enjoyed it <laughs> so I don't mind getting dirty okay PMVP said I assume you and your husband have great friends and a fun social life yes we don't have mad social life like I said we had much busy social life when Max was still at school um, and I think it is because you know when when you want to go out as a couple and your kid can't look after himself yet um, you don't want to get babysitters so it was so easy to get together with other moms and their husbands and their kids so the kids were looked after we had fun um, we do a lot of things just the two of us we are like best friends paul and i and we like a lot of the same things we enjoy each other's company so we don't socialize that much but we do yeah we have great friends and and we don't go out so much we sort of see each other in each other's houses oh so there is this uh, comment can you post pics with no filters um, I do post on, on Instagram pictures with no filters, like if you just see uh, me with my son or with my husband somewhere, there is no filters on that. I only do filters when I do selfies um, and I want to show off my makeup or if I'm looking particularly bad, then I will take a picture with filter. Melinda Mueller. M Mueller. Muela 99 said I would assume that you have a big heart that when you become someone's you are a true friend for life I also assume that you love a good laugh and like to have fun oh yes yes um, I am very loyal friend and a good friend but like I mentioned before um, if you betray me and and do me wrong then I will never be your friend again um, and yes I love having fun and and laugh um, it's funny because all this reading these assumptions especially the ones that say you know you could never have enough makeup you just like makeup for Christ's sake it's a beauty channel what do you want me to do um, but that's not all I'm about not just makeup I have so many different passions you might be surprised to know that I hardly watch any beauty or makeup videos uh, I might watch some of my friends my YouTube friends um, I might watch some reviews if I want to buy something I want to see if it's worth it but I watch all sorts of different things I I've got so many interests um, and I also, because I love to laugh, 
I adore stand-up comedy. So I think on Netflix, I've watched every single stand-up comedy program that, that, that there is. Yeah, I think that's it really. I think that I thought that was fun. I didn't mind any of the assumptions, good or bad, you know. Obviously, that's what people think of you and it's understandable because all you see is like snippets of my life and if you haven't been with me for a long time yeah you could have those assumptions and i hope that if you are quite new to my channel um you got to know me a bit better okay my lovelies thank you so much for your for all your assumptions thank you for watching and stay fabulous bye